Hello, in this video, we are going to study the difference between metal, semi-metal, semiconductors and insulators. When we ask anybody about the definition of semiconductors, they say semiconductors are the materials which have conductivity between metals and insulators. And that is exactly right. Semiconductors are materials which have conductivity between, between metals and semiconductor insulators. But this definition is half because this definition is also applicable to semi-metals. Semi-metals are also the materials which have conductivity between metals and insulators. So how we can differentiate between semi-metals and semiconductors specifically? If we talk about conductivity, the conductivity number variation is there. That conductivity of semi-metals is more than that of semiconductors. This is chart of conductivity for metals, semi-metals, semiconductors and insulators. Now how we can differentiate between semi-metal and semiconductor? Now the conductivity depends upon temperature. With this we can differentiate between them. If we go towards low temperatures, if we lower the temperature of semi-metal, then the conductivity definitely will decrease. But it will decrease to a level that is 10 raised to power 2. But if I talk about semiconductors, the conductivity will decrease with decrease in temperature in such a way that semiconductors will become insulators. That means the conductivity reaches conductivity of insulator for semiconductors at low temperature. So the definition for semiconductors specifically is these are the materials which have conductivity between metals and insulators and they behave as insulators at low temperature. Whereas semi-metals are the materials which have conductivity between metals and insulators and they have conductivity at low temperature. They don't behave as insulators at low temperature. So this is the basic difference between the definition of semiconductors and semi-metals. The conductivity variation on temperatures. Now, if I talk about energy band diagram for metal, semi-metal, semiconductors and insulators. Now, there is no gap between conduction band and swellence band for metals. They overlap each other. Therefore, the conductivity is so high. The conductivity num in numbers is this. At low temperature, the conductivity is also very good. And because the energy band diagram is like this, there is no gap. For semi-metals, the gap is either less than zero or is equals to zero. This is the energy gap diagram for semi-metals. Energy gap between conduction band and valence band. Either they are touching or they will overlap. Semiconductors has specific energy gap between conduction band and valence band and it is 0 to 4. The energy gap can be between 0 to 4 electron volts. For insulators, it is more than 4 electron volts. So this is difference between the energy gap of metal, semi-metal, semiconductor and insulators. Now, we know that conductivity depends upon carriers. Conductivity is because of carriers. Any particle, any thing is carrying the current. That is why there is conductivity. So, we are calculating carrier density. For metals, it is very high. 10 raised to power 22 per centimeter cube. For semi-metals, a little less. 10 to power 17 to 10 to power 21. For semiconductors, it is less than 10 to the power 17. And for insulators, it is very, very less than 1. So this is the basic difference between these four. 
semiconductors we know by doping the charge density is increased by adding n type or p type doping is there so the conductivity the charge density can be varied so this is the basic difference between these four thank you